Hi guys. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to start this video because this video is probably going to be different from what I usually upload, which is just life updates and stuff you guys seem to really find really boring. And I'm working on my broken phone, so I don't know how good anything is going to look. But, um, I've, I've been struggling, um, real hard lately, mentally. Um, I watched, uh, Gigi Gorgeous's wedding video, and she was beautiful, her wife is beautiful, and I just, I felt kind of lost, to be honest felt real lost and real struggling, but that the video wasn't what caused it. I've been feeling that way for a few days before I watched the video, and watching the video, it made me realize that It's gonna, if I ever get married, it's gonna be another thing my dad's missing. And I just, I think that's why I've been struggling with everything in my life. Ever since he died, it's because. I wasn't really close with my dad, and when he died, I was just getting to know him, and he just wanted to finally be dad, and so, losing him at such a young age really affected me, so, and it's really affected me in more ways than one. Um, as you guys know, I have depression. I have, um, clinically severe depression, and I have bipolar disorder, and I have PTSD, and anxiety. I couldn't think of the word. But, um, you guys know that or maybe you don't, I don't know if you've been around for a while. It's not exactly something I talk about openly. And uh, the last time I think I talked about it was a few years ago. Back when I had, um, I think it was blue hair. My way of expressing myself is through role play. And so, I've been talking with my friend about these characters and this couple that we've got, and, or, thruple. Not real sure why I did that. It's a thruple. It's three people in a couple. Um, so, one of the things was that, or one of the ideas was that my girl, that my character went to her parents and she said that she was getting married, and she told them who it was to, and then all of a sudden her parents didn't think they could trust her, didn't think they knew her, all that stuff. And it's just, I've been feeling real struggly ever since I broke that idea up, and I just... I don't really know why it affects me so much, aside from the fact that 
every father or every girl, every little girl should have her father walk her down the aisle. And I won't ever get that. Like, um, I will never get my dad walking me down the aisle. He will never get to meet his grandkids if I have kids. He won't. He's missed so much in my life. And I don't know why it's affecting me all of a sudden now. But I just... Don't get me wrong, I love my mom. My mom is awesome. She has seen me through my best and my worst and at my okayest and at my happiest. But there's just something about my dad not being here that makes all of this so much harder. And I don't mean to be such an asshole to my mama. And I don't mean to be such an ass to anybody who ever meets me. I just... I'm not good with my emotions. Unless I'm behind a screen. Like a computer screen or... Something that I can time. And I just. I love my mom to death, but I have treated her so horribly. And she did not deserve any of it. And it's all my fault. Because I lost. My dad and his left was big asshole in my life that nobody can feel. My dad, he wasn't perfect. He wasn't even okay. But he was my dad and he was mine. I miss him so much. Every single day. <laughs> and it gets hard because there's these milestones I get through. And he doesn't get to see any of it. He doesn't get to see me. <laughs> he doesn't get to see me graduate. He doesn't get to see me do anything. <laughs> Last thing he seen me do was go to was go inside our house after telling him I loved him, and then that was the last time I ever saw him. I just oh my god! I didn't want to cry on camera. <laughs> Why do I mess up so much? I always say the wrong thing. Or it always comes out wrong. And I don't mean for it to come out that way. I just... I'm not good at communicating. And... It's affected me so much. And... I just... <sighs> I watched this, um, 
video on Facebook about her. It was this lady saying something to the effect that um, just because the person's gone doesn't mean they should get over it. Um, she said that uh, her first husband oh I forget what his name is but uh, she said my husband is which she followed it up by saying a grieving person doesn't move on from that experience they move forward with that person so it really spoke to me because my, after my dad died, after, well, before my dad died, I didn't have very many friends. I didn't have very many people to talk to. So when my dad did die, I didn't have an outlet for that. I didn't have a way to cope. So... I just, I shut down, and in the long run, it has affected me so freaking badly, but this lady, she said that a grieving person will smile again, and the, um, I liked that, because she understood that, or she said it better than I could ever explain it, and she said it better than I could ever try to tell somebody else person to person, which is a grieving person doesn't move on, they move forward with whoever they lost. She So when she said, my husband is, that's because... To her, he is still here. And for me, that's my daddy is. Because my dad is still here. It's just not in the way that I want him to be. I want to wrap my arms around him one more time and tell him I am so sorry. That I am not the daughter he, he was expecting. I am not the daughter he could have ever wanted. I am not the daughter that he was ever willing to have. I am what circumstances made me. And I am trying my hardest to do everything and I have my setbacks and I have my struggles and I have my problems I just it's hard to explain the fact that I haven't moved on because I don't think I ever will um my nana uh, or my grandmother she um my mom and I got into a fight one time and I was up there because my mom needed time to cool off I guess and so I was up at my nana's and my Nana sat me down and said that you should have moved on from this from by now. And I, can't, I just looked at her like she was stupid because I don't know. I just, it's hard 
when you go through losing anybody at a young age, and you go through the trauma of that, and the trauma of everybody that loved that person shutting down, and being left in the dust, and all that stuff, you, um, you don't really know how to do anything. So, when my Nana said that to me, I looked at her like she was stupid because she had never had to experience that before. She never had to lose a parent at 10 years old and live and grow up through that grief that most people get later in life. When they have fully functional, functionally developed brains and they don't have disorders and they don't have medical problems and I just, oh my god, I got tired of it. I get tired of it when people tell me I should move on from my, move on from my dad's death. I just, why on why in the hell would you tell that to somebody that is grieving even 10 years later and 20 years later and 30 years later and so on? Why in hell would you tell that to somebody at all? I just, I don't know. I know this video was run kind of long and it, it kind of turned into a rant, but um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell every time I upload, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you butterflies. Bye!